Blizzard, do you hate the Sorceress class? We just got patch 1.4.3, the highly anticipated mid-season update, which according to the patch notes, and we're going to go over them very quickly in a minute because I want to talk about more important things. Um, so patch notes came out. Everyone's been waiting for them. It It is dated for June 17th. Now, June 17th falls on a Monday. I don't think they're going to release or update the game on a Monday. I would suspect a Tuesday. But regardless, this mid-season update is going to go live sometime early next week. Now, we got this live, and I am not going to scroll down the whole thing. I'm just going to give you the very high level, under a minute, of everything that and summarize this patch note for you. Basically, uh, mythic unique items, we know them as uber uniques, but really they're mythical unique items. They've been buffed. There's a whole list of them right here. Uh, Par Paragon board stat requirements for non-main stats reduced from 90 to 60 on the Paragon board. Basically what this means is that it makes it easier for us to activate nodes that require non-main stats. And then we get it specifically to each class. Basically for the barb, all, all the classes got buffs, more take except one. And surprise, surprise, take a guess which one. Uh, but let's go into it. Barb, basically spin to win is back among other buffs. The druid, where's the druid? The druid, uh, basically spirit and thrones have been increased. Rabies and pulverized skills are getting a 25% and 76% damage increase, respectively. 76%? <laughs> Why not 75%? Uh, pulverize is back, basically. Okay, then we go into the Necromancer, like the Necromancer needs any help, but basically a ton from the Book of Dead, a ton of buffs for all the sacrifices and they're all here and of course all the other stuff of course rogue someone likes rogue at blizzard uh twisted blades and fury are getting damage increases amongst paragon and legendary aspect changes to and unique items and then of course the sorceress which i may add the two most popular classes in diablo 4 are the Sorceress and the Necromancer, and both season after season are usually low on the totem pole when it comes to S tier. Now, it just happens that season four, it's the year, I mean, it's the season of the Necromancer, but I don't think we've ever had a season of the Sorceress. Um, basically, let's look at the amazing changes that have been done since all the other classes have gotten buffs. The Sorceress, well, they've had their Ice Armor duration increased. Shimmering Teleport duration increased. And Incinerate Damage Reduction is increased from 15 to 20%. Wow. Sorceress is totally S-tier now. Okay. We're going to talk about that more later. Okay. End game changes. Basically, the pit, health and damage levels have been reduced. You will feel it more once you get closer to tier 60. These changes, according to Blizzard, have been made so players can fully participate in master working. Now, before I go into the next one, it's funny and a little surprising that they haven't addressed the issue with master working and tempering. And that is for master working, the cost associated to re-rolling items and tempering... I'm on the fence with this one, but a lot of people are complaining about bricking items through tempering and and the amount of bricking of items that happens. Now, personally, I think this is the chase of the game, but some people feel we shouldn't be bricking as frequently. Personally, I think it's fine, but we'll leave it there. So the pit, uh, like I said, uh, they want to uh, reduce the health and damage levels so people can clear the pit and earn the materials in order to masterwork. 
And this one, I have to say, I'm a little bit surprised. All tormented bosses, including the blood boils from tormented Echo of Lilith, have had their health reduced by 30%. 30%. Wow. Um, and I want to talk about bosses in general in Diablo 4 in my next segment. And literally, Holy Bolt... Uh, has been nerfed. It now deals a percentage of your weapon damage, not a percentage of your enemy's health. And that is the patch, the mid-season update. Very quick summary. Overall, I think it's a good patch. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, Blizzard has a thing with source, the Sorceress class where it literally is dying a slow death in season four. And to be quite frank, it has never been S tier outside of the chain ball light, you know, the chain ball uh, time that one OP build. And yes, in season four, there's the immortal sorceress build that can do some heavy damage in the pit. But outside of that, I find the the lack of attention to the sorceress build and selfishly. I'm honing in on this because it's my favorite class and it's the favorite class of many players. Sorceress and Necromancer, the two popular classes in Diablo 4. Um, so I don't understand why Blizzard continued to neglect the Sorceress. It really, really is pathetic. I, I don't understand why they choose to neglect the sorceress it's your one of your most popular classes that players want to play it even though it lacks any one-on-one -on -one damage or viability in the end game outside of one build in season four come on blizzard do better and i want to make another comment in reference to the bosses getting nerfed by 30 percent let here's my opinion okay the issue with bosses in Diablo 4 is that they're punching bags. It's not a... A boss fight in Diablo 4 is not a f boss fight that requires skill, strategy. Like, it just doesn't. You literally just have to avoid the one or two mechanic. And it's just... It's a battle of attrition. Does the boss have more health or do you have enough damage to kill the boss? There is no skill in the boss fights in Diablo 4. And you can look at other games that Blizzard can try to attain some level when it comes to the boss fights. And I'm talking about games like PoE 2 where we just got a live demo for some of the content creators that went out to Los Angeles, I believe, and got their hands on the play PoE2 demo. And they, at the time, they were they were trying out the couch co-op for console, and we got to see some of the boss fights. Like their strategy, you're not just it's not just a punching bag and a fight of attrition there's actually strategy involved and if you want to get to the pinnacle of boss fights the pinnacle that a lot of people regard this game to have the best boss fights of a lot of the games if not the best boss fights and i'm not saying blizzard need to get to s tier level like this game does but you probably have already guessed which game i'm referring to and that is elden ring the boss fights. First of all, let's talk about the bosses. Some of them enormous in size, intimidating. The animation, the change in the difficulty during the boss fight. So typically, you get them down to half health. They morph into something more dangerous, quicker, one-shot type kind of boss. The boss fight changes. The mechanics change. The fight itself in general, from beginning to end, you're not just standing in front of the boss, punching away, hacking and slashing, seeing whether the boss has more health or you have more damage. 
the boss fights that I've referred to, specifically what I classify S tier, like these ones in Elden Ring, there is strategy involved. There is a sense of fulfillment once you beat this boss, any boss in Elden Ring. There is a sense of accomplishment. You are studying their moves, their mechanics, and you're adopting and your strategy on the fly. I don't think anyone can deny the boss fights in Diablo 4 are boring and there is no skill or strategy involved. None. Zero. It's literally the bosses in D4 are punching bags. So that's what they need to fix. They need to elevate their bosses, make it more interesting and change the look, look at all the different types of bosses aesthetically in elden rings even in last epoch all the bosses look different mechanics are different it, it it's just another level and somehow blizzard need to get there not play with the health of the bosses that isn't improving it it's not okay great so more people are going to be able to do torment bosses awesome it's not fun it's an ends to a means the only reason why they're doing it is to get the materials that they need for whatever boss they're fighting you know depending on what they're trying to do okay there's no sense of accomplishment by doing it if you ask me anyway that's the patch note guys basically what blizzard is saying through this patch note is Everybody, go have fun. We buffed everything. Uh, sorry, sorceress players. You just you want to play sorceress? Play the immortal sorceress build. We don't have time for you. That's what they're saying. And oh, by the way, we made all the bosses easier, so you guys can all have fun, and you can go and enjoy masterworking and not having enough gold because you're going to be re-rolling everything over and over and you're going to run out of gold you're going to be able to participate in master working but you're not going to have enough gold i don't get it uh it's a band-aid on they're not addressing the root problems if you ask me now i do want to say one more thing for those of you that are going to come to me with you hate this you hate that this comes up from a place of good the reason why I'm so animated and the reason why I continue to hone in on these issues is because I want to improve the game and the game has improved. You can see it in season four. So I want to continue this trend. This is not hate. This is constructive feedback from a player that's playing Diablo 4 and wants Diablo 4 to be an S tier game. Now you want to hate me for that? Bring it on. I'm here, I deal with it 24 seven anyway, but I actually think I'm doing the game a good service, not a disservice because the th I don't just come here and bitch and complain and highlight what's wrong. I actually offer solutions and opinions on how I would fix the game. There's a difference. Anyone can bring, you know, break down a house, right? Anyone can demolish a house, but only some people can build and I'm offering how I would build it, not just what's broken. So that's my two cents. Overall, this is going to be received as a good patch. Unless you're a sorceress uh, player, then you're going to be like, what the hell? <laughs> anyway, let me know what you guys think. Uh, and all of you that continue to watch my content and don't subscribe, please help a brother out. Why don't you hit that like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe to our channel. We got big and better things to do. And I would love for you to support us by hitting that subscribe button. It only gives us a platform to do more and better. So I would appreciate it if you could subscribe. And as always, come and check me out live on Twitch. Channel name is Sammy Caps. I stream every evening around 7, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. Sammy Caps is a channel name on Twitch. All right, everybody. See you in Sanctuary. Thank you. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. 
Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.